What's up guys, this is your boy DZD, aka The Drink King, Purple World Entertainment, and you are live inside the Dungeon Palace Studios yet again. First off, before I get into this video, thank you guys so much for smashing that subscribe button. I remember a month ago, I made a video and I was congratulating you guys on helping us get to 700 subscribers. I am pleased to announce that we are now rounding 900 subscribers. Thank you so much guys. I wouldn't be able to do it without you guys' help. So keep hitting that subscribe button, keep hitting that bell notification because I have a lot more content that I'm going to be bringing to you. I really appreciate you guys. I have a very hot video for you today. One of my subscribers, they left me a comment and asked me to show exactly how I get my beats out of the NPC software and get them ready to be exported into my DAW and get them ready for the process of mixing. So that's what I'm gonna be showing you guys today. It's gonna be a quick video, but I'm gonna show you my process on how I get my beats out of the NPC software and get them ready to be exported to my DAW. So without saying too much, let's get straight to it guys. All right, we are now inside the MPC software and we have the beat loaded up. So I'm going to give you an idea of what that sounds like very quickly. Nice up-tempo bounce type track, you know, something that, I, that uh, we can use for the purpose of this tutorial. Uh, the first thing that we're going to do, this is going to go by very quickly, so if you have any questions at all, by all means, leave me a comment, and I'll try and get back to you and uh, help you out as much as I can. So the first thing that we're going to do is I have my sequence here, my main sequence, so the first thing I'm going to do is copy this to another sequence. I don't want to affect my main sequence. I like to leave that exactly how it is. Any exploding, any, any uh, labeling, anything like that, I always do on another sequence. So let's go to... Let's go up here to edit, we're going to go to sequence, and then we're going to go to copy sequence, and then we're going to put it on a new sequence and hit do it. That now puts our main sequence on sequence two. Let's, let's uh, label that to explode sequence, exp sequence. Okay, that way we know that this is going to be the sequence where all of our drums will be exploded from one program to now different drum sounds on every track. That way we have all of our sounds tracked out on different tracks. So that's what we're gonna do right now. We're gonna go to our drum track, which is drum track run one right here. And then after we explode our drums, it's gonna mute this drum track and it's gonna put all of our drum sounds after track six, after our string track. It's gonna put it all under here. So let's do that. We're gonna do that from the, from the controller here. It's a bit quicker and easier. Go to the track and hit explode now it mutes our drum track and now look at all our, all of our drum sounds here everything is laid out to where we want it on different tracks all of our percussion sounds everything that we need is all on different tracks now normally i label these you know just to make sure but they have a bit of the title in it kick clap percussion hi-hats normally i just label them and make them simple but for the purposes of this tutorial we'll just keep going and leave them just like that okay the next thing that I want to do is I want to gain stage all of my tracks. So I pull up the mixer, the MPC mixer, and I use this plugin to gain stage. It's the Hornet VU meter plugin. I do have a video on this plugin. Uh, this plugin basically just levels all of your tracks out. It does not mix your tracks, so don't get that twisted. It doesn't do that. All it does is it just levels out your tracks, get them at a good level to where you can start a very, very good mix. Sometimes your sounds are going out of whack, they're too high, they're too soft. This track will do it, this, uh, this plugin will do it for you. So I set everything. Uh, like I said, I, I will leave a link to the video on this plugin. It'll show you exactly how it works, what are the features, what it does, and it'll show you why it's so important to use something like this on your tracks. So I get everything set up in this plugin, the Haunted View Meter plugin, to get ready to gain stage. And then I duplicate the plugin by holding Alt, I duplicate it to every track. So let's do that very quickly, every single track. And what this does is, if you put it in, a, in, in group one, uh, as you, if you watch that video to show you how to do that, you put it in a, in a group and it affects all of the, uh, the plugins all at the same time. So we're gonna skip our audio track, which we have nothing on, and our drum track is muted. So we're gonna go to our instrument tracks now, and we're gonna duplicate it. Keep duplicating on every track. 
doesn't matter where it is as long as it's after any effects that you have and then when i open up the plugin i'm going to open up another one that way you can see them both how they operate it's going to chain all of the plugins together when you hit auto it turns on this one as well and then it gain stages all of the all of the sounds for you that way everything is done all of our levels are ready to go now we're ready to export our track so to do that we go to file we go to export and we go to as mix down you guys should know this already but for those of you that don't i'm just going to go through it uh we take it off of stereo we don't want to do that we want to explode all of the tracks and as it says render separate audio file for each track that's what we want i usually render in 24 bits simply because i like it like that um, the audio tail I leave at one because that catches any kind of resonance or any kind of uh, Echoes or anything at the end of your track, you know, you don't want to cut that off You want to catch everything so it's not going to be a perfect the tracks aren't going to be a perfect loop It's going to have that one second after the, the loop that way you catch any type of lingering sound Okay Now we want to export um, I want to do that in my project folder. This is what I usually do. I usually copy the title of my beat I copy it I make a new folder and I put at the beginning of that stems and then I paste the title. Do it. It creates that folder with the word stem at the beginning and then I save all of my exported tracks into there. Now it's going to export. <clears throat> all of our tracks. It also exported our audio track, which has nothing on it, and it exported that drum track, which is muted. We don't need that. So we are done inside the MPC software. Okay. Uh, we're going to hit don't save simply because this is just a video tutorial. I don't want to save it this way. Uh, and now if you open up our folder where our project is located, here's our stem track. Here's our stem folder. And it has all of our tracks in it. That audio track and that drum track we don't need. So let's delete those. And then these are our sounds that we just, we just uh, exported out. Now we're going to go inside of our DAW. We're going to open up our DAW, which I use Reaper. Um, I love Reaper. It's a very, very good DAW. I'm probably going to do a few, few videos on it and the MPC software to show you how that works, what I do with it. But it's amazing. So let's go back to our, to our, our, our folder. We're going to highlight our tracks. Well, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to change the beats per minute. 165, we need to change that inside of Reaper. So let's go here, 160 to 165. Okay, now we're going to highlight our tracks and we're going to drag them in. It's going to ask us if we want to separate the tracks, if we want single tracks. Obviously, we want them all separated, and there they populate. And if you play them, you're going to notice that all of the levels in the mixer, all of the levels, none of them are peaking, and everything is nicer and ready to go. So now we're ready for the, uh, for the track to actually be mixed. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna end the video here. Uh, if you guys would like to see how I do mixed tracks, then by all means, please leave me a comment and I'll see if I can get a video out to you guys that way I can show you exactly how I set up my tracks and what I do when I mix. It's a very, very simple process. Normally it takes me about 10 minutes to mix one beat. Um, I don't know why. It takes a lot of guys more time to mix a beat. Um, I've done it professionally for so long and usually it takes me about 10, maybe 15 minutes. I get annoyed if it takes me more than 10 minutes to mix a beat. Uh, so uh, yeah, I can give you a good idea of what I do when I mix my tracks, show you how I set it up the way I have uh, control over everything, if you guys wanna know that. But yeah, now you have an idea of how I get my tracks inside of my software, uh, what I do. Uh, the process that I go through to get everything gain staged before it even gets into my into my software. That concludes our video, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I really appreciate your support. If you found this video of any help to you, please hit that thumbs up button because it helps me out a lot. It encourages me to keep getting these videos out to you so that way you can keep enjoying our content. So hit that thumbs up button, leave me a comment, let me know what you think of the video. 
Again, if you have not subscribed, please do so now. Hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification because you don't want to miss the hot content that I got coming. I have a few more beat making videos that I'm going to be dropping very shortly. I have some plug in reviews and I also have a very, very special video that's coming for you guys very soon. So you don't want to miss that. Hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification, and stay tuned. Once again, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Thank you guys so much for your support. I will hit that thousand subscriber mark. So please keep supporting the channel. Thank you guys so much. This is your boy DZD, aka the Drank Hank, Purple World Entertainment, live from the Dungeon Palace Studios. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Take care.